okay. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna uh, start the tutorial T8. The title is the deep learning applied to viral genome classification. I'm Professor Marcel Penance uh, from Federal University of Rio Norte in Natal, Brazil. Okay. Um, uh, just the, the direction to where I, where I, I it's uh, I mean Brazil in Natal uh, in Federal University of Rio Grande do Norte. This is this is that lab that I. I'm working. I'm a, a leader of a research group on the embedded system and reconfigurable computing. And I'm, a, I'm also a leader uh, of the laboratory of machine learning intelligence instrumentation. Uh, this is that lab where I, I'm, a, I'm a leader. This is uh, my team and the students, PhD students. Okay. So uh, this is uh, our uh, agenda. Uh, we need, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about, about biology. After that, I'm going to talk about bioinformatics, and, I'm, and after, I'm going to talk about deep learning and genomics, okay? Because this, uh, this tutorial is about, uh, about deep learning and, uh, and genomics, but of course, I, 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 I need to talk about the, the bio, bio uh, formats, okay? So um, here, I think it's uh, the main the main uh, uh, idea uh, that uh, proved that uh, deep learning can work with the genome or viral viral uh, classification. Yeah, it's about the the central dogma dogma of uh, molecular biology. Yeah, it's a uh, it's an uh, important idea about uh, biology. Yeah, it's about that uh, we have a, a DNA sequence. Okay, and uh, DNA sequence uh, has a, a transcription and uh, that convert. Okay, DNA sequence in the mRNA mRNA sequence mRNA it's RNA uh, messenger. Okay. And uh, after the, the transcription, uh, we have the translator, uh, the translation. The translation is the, the amino acid uh, chain creation from the mRNA uh, sequence, that from the DNA sequence. And after, uh, after uh, you, you create the, the um, uh, amino, acid, amino acid sequence or amino acid chain, you create a, a protein, okay? The protein is um, it's a biological machine. Yeah, everything that we uh, that uh, that about we are uh, it's about the, the the protein. Yeah, all the 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 human and the the body the body functionality. It's about the the protein. Yeah, the protein is the is the biological machine. So uh, the DNA sequence is very, very important because DNA sequence, it's a, it's a, it's a mode, it's a code to create the protein, yeah? So if, if you understand very well DNA sequence, you understand the, 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 the protein, you understand the disease, the, the, the body uh, functionalities and, uh, and a lot of things, okay? So it's a little bit about the, uh, about the DNA sequence, okay? DNA sequence, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's composed with the, 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 the bases, okay? And uh, we have uh, four, four, four kinds of, 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 of bases, yeah? the, the nucleotides uh, base, yeah? that uh, we call it with G, C, A, A, T. Yeah? Of course, uh, I, uh, it's, it, it, it is not my idea to uh, explain very detail about DNA, uh, DNA strength, okay? So um, uh, here, a little bit big difference between 
DNA and, and, and RNA, okay? Because in DNA, I, uh, we have CGA and T bases, okay? Uh, and in, in RNA, uh, we have CGA EU bases, okay? The, the, the difference is uh, the, the base G and in DNA in uh, the base U and, and R, R, and R, yeah. And when uh, we work with uh, a DNA or RNA, yeah, uh, we have, uh, we can work with the, the unidimensional uh, information where uh, we call it the, the DNA sequence or a RNA sequence, yeah, that we have the, all the sequence in the line, yeah, it's the, it's the uh, string sequence, yeah. And uh, of course, this is a molecule, and uh, uh, we have the bidimensional structure of the, the molecule and three dimensional structure of, of the, mo the molecule because the DNA or uh, RNA it's a, it's a three, dimension, three dimensional molecule. Yeah, but it's important, you know, the, of, of course, the, the, the composition of, 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 of the molecule is important, but the most important in, uh, in DNA is the about the, the, the sequence, okay? How the bases uh, are in the sequence, okay? Because all information up, about the, the proteins is associated with how these bases are in the sequence, okay? And of course, the, the, the protein is the, 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 the biological machine. If, if you understand very well the protein, you understand very, very well about the body functionality, the, the disease, and other, all, other things. Okay. So uh, uh, let, let me talk here about, about the, the, the gene. Okay. Gene is, is the it, uh, is the part of the DNA or R RNA that uh, encode the, the, the gene product, yeah? Be because uh, we, ha uh, we have the DNA sequence or RNA sequence, yeah? But uh, just part of the DNA sequence will be generate a protein, okay? Some parts, some parts of the DNA uh, uh, don't generate protein. Yeah, and this part, this, uh, we generate the protein, uh, we call it the gene, okay? Uh, for, for example, uh, the, the OCA2 gene uh, located in chromosome 15 uh, appears to, to play a major role in the, uh, in the controlling the blue, the brown or blue polar spectrum, for example, and OCA2 produces the a uh, protein called the P protein that involves the information and the process in the melanin. Yeah, individuals with OCA2 mutations uh, that prevent P protein, P -pro protein from beginning produce are born with the, the form of the albism. Yeah, of course, uh, if you know the, the, the DNA gene, you, you know about the some disease and, uh, and, and another functionalities, okay? So uh, when uh, we're talking about the DNA, uh, we have two operations, yeah? The DNA re replication, yeah? Because the, uh, the, the DNA is a, it's a, it's a source to, to, to create other cells and making the replication, yeah? And the, and DNA expression, yeah, or uh, RNA expression, yeah, that I said before, yeah, you have the, the DNA, and uh, uh, with, with the DNA, it has a transcription that you create a RNA, and the RNA you create, you, you have a translation, and you, you create the proteins, okay? It's an uh, important thing that, that uh, we know, yeah, because the virus, uh, we have, uh, two kinds of virus, DNA virus and RNA virus, and and, uh, and the virus use your cells to create the our uh, their proteins. Okay, 
And the, uh, this is an important aspect that uh, we need to understand about uh, about the, the virus. Okay. Another concept uh, that it's important it's about the open reframe. Yeah. The open reframe it's 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 the part of the 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 reading frame because all this the DNA sequence is divided in in frames. Okay. Inside the, the uh, these frames, uh, you have, sorry, you have the, the genes that will create the, uh, the proteins, okay? So uh, let me let me talk you more about the bio, some, some talks about bi biology, okay? Uh, other uh, uh, important concept, it's about the, the codon, okay? The, 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 the protein is it's, it's composed uh, by uh, amino acids, okay? And each amino acid is composed uh, from three, three bases that, that uh, we call it the codon, okay? So, for example, here uh, we have GCU base, and uh, this base uh, create, uh, this is a codon, and each codon we uh, create the uh, amino acid that uh, we have, that when we have several amino acids, we, we, we have a protein, okay? This is a, a example that, that transcription, yeah? We have some, some bases and each three bases, we have the, the codon and uh, the, each, uh, Composite of three bases, you create the, the amino acid, and after that, we create the, the protein. Okay. And uh, here uh, it's the, the table of the proteins. Okay. Uh, we have about 20 uh, different, uh, sorry, uh, this table is about, uh, about uh, amino acid. Okay. We have about 20 amino acids and uh, amino acids and uh, with these um, uh, amino acids uh, we will create the, uh, the proteins okay uh, this is uh, all all amino acid yeah and uh, for example um, for, uh, for, 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 for example the the base t t t yeah triple triple t we you uh, is the the phenylamine, yeah, that is some is amino acid, and several in several amino acids together we create a protein. Okay, this is a, a important point because when uh, you're talking about the virus mutation, uh, the virus uh, mutation, it's a uh, that the, the virus change some some base. And if you change some base, you, you, you change the protein. For example, uh, if, if, if uh, you, you have TTT, okay, and, and there is some, some mutation that change this base to C, uh, and uh, we had we have TTT, and now we have TCT, uh, we have an, a, a creation of the new amino acid, yeah? Because before you have fet, uh, phenylamine, and now you have a uh, certain uh, amino acid, yeah? If you change the amino acid, you can change the protein, yeah? You can change the, the, the fold of the protein, okay? So, um, uh, for us, okay, that uh, we when uh, uh, we work with uh, deep learning, uh, we we have we we work with the DNA sequence. Yeah, this is an example that 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 uh, SARS-CoV-2 part of the SARS-CoV-2 sequence. Okay, it's the 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 reference sequence that uh, from the the Wuhan. Okay, and the party of all of, of the sex. 
For example, the stars cool to seconds has about 30,000 bases, okay? 30,000 uh, uh, letters, okay? So uh, let, let me talk in, uh, a little bit about the data set, okay? GBank, okay? Uh, there are many uh, data sets that uh, we, we can uh, get the, the DNA sequence, okay? Uh, when uh, you make the sequence process, you, uh, you can submit the, the, the gene bank. And, uh, and in our work, uh, we need this, 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 this data set because we, uh, uh, we download this sequence to, to, to make the deep okay? learning. So, uh, it's uh, specific for virus, yeah. Uh, we have the virus boost DB. It's a, it, it's a famous data set that we have several uh, virus sequences, yeah. Uh, uh, about uh, 16,000 uh, virus sequences, okay. That several, several uh, different virus, okay. And of course, uh, to, 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 uh, we have other. Uh, data set, yeah. the other famous data set is, is GSA. In this data set, uh, it's, uh, we have about two, two days, okay? I got this, this picture uh, today. Uh, we have about 20.4 20, 20. million seconds of the SARS-CoV-2, okay? It's a, it's a massive data, yeah? It's an important data, yeah? because uh, it's an important point to, to machine learn, okay? It's uh, interesting because uh, uh, in viral host the, 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 we have several different viruses. We just have uh, 16,000, yeah? In specific for, for SARS-CoV-2, we have about 2.4 uh, million seconds available today, okay? This is an example that uh, we can download the, the, uh, the sequence, yeah, the, the viral sequence, okay? This, uh, this file, uh, in bio informatic people call it the FASTA file that uh, we, we have the DNA sequence of the, of the uh, specific organism, yeah? In this case, it is specific of virus. This is a version of the SARS-CoV-2 from, from Brazil, yeah? This is a data that, that, uh, that these, these, these seconds were, were made, okay? So uh, let me talk in, uh, more about the virus, yeah? Of course, uh, I mean, I, I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna talk about the SARS-CoV-2 because it's, uh, uh, it's a famous virus, yeah, today, yeah. So I, I, I choose SARS-CoV-2, but, uh, but uh, uh, of course, yeah, we can, uh, everything that, that, that I, I say here, uh, you can use for other viruses, yeah, okay. But uh, SARS-CoV-2, it's an RNA virus, yeah. The, the most viruses are in, in, in R, RNA virus, okay. The, the influenza virus, the H, A, A, HIV virus are RNA virus, yeah? Ba basically, the, the virus, it's, uh, it's not a, 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 a organism, yeah? It's, a, it's just a, a, a protein with the, the genetical material, yeah? It's a... Uh, SARS-CoV-2, it's, uh, it's a coronavirus, yeah? So uh, this, is uh, this virus has this, this structure that uh, you have the, the genetic material inside this, this, this membrane, okay? And uh, it's a RNA, yeah? And uh, you have other eye structures, yeah? And each structure here, it's a protein, okay? So, this is a famous uh, protein that, that, that we call it a spike, yeah? 
this protein is uh, it's uh, very important because this protein con con connect the 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 the, the virus with the, the the cell yeah and uh, this protein is, is responsible to, to 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 get in the virus to the cell okay and some 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 uh, uh, vaccines for example uh, use these uh, spike information to create the, the antibodies, okay? So it's a, yeah. So uh, it's important to understand because if you know the RNA sequence, you know about the, the, the proteins that compose the virus, okay? They compose the, 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 the virus. And it, here it's a, it's a example of the open read frame of, of, of the virus. Okay, uh, we we see he, he, here uh, all the all the seconds. Okay, here uh, we have all the seconds. Yeah, and each part of the seconds has a name. Yeah, uh, or I have in A or I have in B uh, spike protein. Uh, in the other words, uh, this part of the virus, okay, is responsible to create the the spike protein. Okay. So this is a, a SARS-CoV-2, and the other uh, one here, it's a, it's a other uh, similar uh, coronavirus uh, like SARS-CoV, MERS, and, and so on. Okay, so we have the sequence here, yeah, and each part of the sequence is responsible to create part of the virus, yeah, part of the, 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 the virus. See, here it's like an example of the the, the mutation and, and, and variants of, of, of the virus okay uh, for example uh, each part here it's a, it's a or uh, open read frame yeah each each open read frame has ha, has a name yeah and sp2 and sp3 yeah spike protein and here are the mutations that uh, that were uh, in this uh, in this, this virus until now. Yeah. Now uh, we have we have more mutations. Okay, uh, because the, this image, uh, this this picture, it's uh, I don't know four months ago I think so. Yeah. But for example, it's interesting how uh, uh, we see um, we see this. Uh, uh, this mutation, for example, yeah, this mutation it's uh, called B six hundred fourteen G, yeah. B it's the 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 protein, the the the, the reference protein, yeah. Sixty fourteen is the position of the protein inside the the sequence, yeah. And G is the mutation. Okay, so we had a mutation that that uh, uh, goes uh, that D to G. Okay, this is a, a famous mutation that uh, the SARS-CoV-2 uh, has. Okay, and this mutation is responsible to change the part of the spike protein. This one is a spike protein. Yeah. And depends of the mutation, the the, the virus can uh, will be more lethal, will be more uh, transmissible. Okay, depends of the, the kind of the mutation. Okay. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna talk about uh, bioinformatics. Okay, I'm gonna uh, uh, a little bit of talk about uh, about uh, biology. Now I'm gonna talk about bioinformatics. Yeah. It's important because in bioinformatics, uh, the main the main word is similarity. Okay, uh, in bioinformatics, uh, you're looking for a similarity uh, uh, between seconds. Yeah. For example, how you, you know that some seconds is from SARS-CoV-2 virus? Yeah. Because uh, you you looking for the, the similarity between the the reference sequence and the new sequence, yeah. And if you look at uh, if you found a high similarity, you can say 
Ah, uh, okay. I'm I'm found the the SARS-CoV-2, yeah, or you have uh, COVID-19 because you have SARS SARS-CoV-2, yeah. Okay. And how you can do do do, do that? Uh, you can uh, do, do, do that using the the uh, the DNA sequence. Okay. It's important because the DNA sequence it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a sequence of letters. Yeah. So you can see a DNA sequence with a signal. It's important. Yeah. If if you uh, if you uh, if you are from biological area, you can see a DNA sequence with a, a sequence of base, okay, a nucleotides, okay. But if you uh, if you are uh, from other area, other field, you can see the DNA sequence with a, a, a sequence of letters, a sequence of signal, okay. It's important uh, this because you can use uh, several different algorithms to process the DNA sequence. Okay, so this picture shows that the bioinformatic uh, analysis pipeline. Okay, you have the primary uh, primary analysis. Yeah, it's uh, basically you get the biological probe and you extract the the, the sequence, okay? You, you have the biological material and you extract the, the, the sequence file, yeah? You have after the, sec the secondary analysis, okay? Be because the, the, when you extract the, the sequence, you extract the, the, the little uh, pieces of, of the sequence and after that you need uh, you need to join these these uh, these pieces, okay, of of the sequence, and you uh, you make a, a alignment algorithms, of, okay, and you have the tertiary analysis that uh, you uh, uh, you uh, can use the alignment algorithms, machine learning algorithms, research methods, and the other other algorithms, okay. In the tertiary analysis that uh, that part of the you 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 um, you you figure out that that uh, that uh, features of the virus, features of the the of of the organism. Okay, in this part you have the faster file. In the faster file is the file that you have the all the segments of of the organism. In, in the our case, in the in the virus, okay. So, uh, in bioinformatics, uh, I'm, uh, the most people in bioinformatics uh, 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 use use alignment algorithms, yeah, because uh, it's uh, the alignment algorithms. It's the the tool that uh, you you can discover the 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 kind of the virus. The features of the virus, the variant of the virus, and, 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 and a lot of things. Yeah, alignment algorithms are the main tools in bio in, in bioinformatics. Yeah, you uh, you can make a virus classification that when you use the the alignment. Yeah, the alignment algorithms uh, will um, will uh, make a, a similarity analysis. Okay, it's a uh, uh, I, I important you guys understand that. Yeah. Okay. So there are many kinds of, of alignment algorithms. Okay, global and local alignment, pairwise alignment, wood methods align, uh, 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 alignment, multiple sequence alignment. Yeah. There are many many approaches and many in, in many algorithms that make uh, alignment. Okay, uh, the most algorithm that, that make an uh, alignment is blast algorithm. Yeah, it's uh, the most the most algorithm that bioinformatic people use to make it al alignment. Okay, uh, some uh, here for example, I'm I'm showing that that example that 
uh, alignment, okay? The local alignment and the, the, and the global alignment, okay? In the local alignment, uh, you, uh, you have a small sequence and uh, you're looking for a uh, best matching in, in the big sequence. In, in the global alignment, you, you have, you, you have the, you looking for the best, the best position with, between two, uh, two, two, two uh, DNA sequence or RNA sequence, okay? Uh, it, 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 it's interesting to uh, understand that the alignment process, it, it, it's a string, it, it's a text algorithm, yeah? Because each base uh, in the DNA sequence, it's a letter, okay? It's a letter. So, um, so but uh, alignment algorithms uh, has some, some limitations, okay? This is an important point, yeah? Because this is an important motivation to use uh, to, to use deep learning. Okay, so uh, people have been using alignment algorithms to, to provide those classification, yeah. But these guys has some some limitations, yeah. And uh, people have been using that call it the alignment free sequences, okay? Alignment free sequences. Uh, are other approach that you can discover the similarity between two seconds or several seconds, okay? Or in other words, uh, you can make virus classification using alignment free sequence approach. Okay, so it's important to understand. You have the al alignment al algorithms and you have alignment free uh, uh, sequence algorithms, okay? And, and a deep learning or machine learning, it's a kind of alignment-free uh, approach, okay? This is a uh, two very good papers that call it about the, the alignment-free free approach. Alignment-free approach is not a new one, okay? People have been you, you use, it, use it, but the difference now is because the people are using the deep learning with the alignment free, free, free sequence, okay? When you use the deep learning, you don't need to make alignment, okay? More and more, some, some, some reference, okay? And here it's a, it, it's a justification about the, the uh, how the alignment free sequence is better than, than, than alignment alignment uh, approach, okay? Uh, okay, uh, so uh, when you, you, you work with alignment free sequence, basically, okay, uh, usually you have a sequence, the DNA or RNA sequence, okay? And you make a mapping to a future space. And after you, you, you have a, a, a processing algorithm that you, you can make a prediction of all clusters, okay? It's that usually you have a map, a mapping process and, and a processing process, okay? Uh, of course, the mapping, uh, there are many, many, many approaches to make the mapping. There are very simple approaches and, and, and there are um, very complex approaches to, to make the, the mapping. But all alignment-free segments Techniques or approach using a mapping and a process. Okay, it's different from alignment uh, approach. Okay, here uh, we can see some 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 scheme of, of mappings. Yeah, uh, for example, the cameras. Okay, uh, in the cameras you you group the 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 k uh, uh, bases. Okay, for example, uh, imagine that you have the seconds. And if you k equal to, uh, you, 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 you create these k mirrors, okay? Uh, GT, okay? After TA, okay? After AG, and after GA, and so on. And if, if you use k equal three, you, you, you have GTA, okay? G, G, GTA, after you have TAG, TAG, after you have AGA, 
AGA and so on. And, and uh, you have, uh, you can have several valve rules of the, the key, the, the key, okay? So the K mirrors is a, is a wood composition, but there are other approaches uh, like entro entropy, signal space, okay? Uh, for, for, for example, uh, in this case, it's an a, a interesting case that uh, we transformate the viral sequence in the image. Yeah, we are, we are using the, the, the uh, K, K, K mirrors, okay? And you can see the different virus, you have the different, different images, okay? Uh, and different uh, virus family, you have different images, but these virus here uh, are, in, are in the same, in, in, this, uh, in the same family, okay? Uh, uh, both, uh, all of them are uh, coronaviridae, okay? Coronaviridae. And uh, you can see some similarity between alpha coronavirus and beta coronavirus, but uh, alpha coronavirus and beta coronavirus is the other subclassification. And uh, you can see that uh, there are some similarity, but there are some uh, uh, dissimilarity, okay? And uh, you can transform the, the DNA sequence in the, in the signal sequence too, okay? Uh, people call it the genomic signal process. It's a new one, okay? And you, uh, you, can, have, you can use an analytic data stream information theory to, to make the mapping, okay? It's important to uh, understand that mapping, it's an important step to, to use the, the deep learning, yeah. Some, 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 uh, some guys use several map maps in, in uh, several map maps in cascade. Yeah, you have a pipeline of mappings. This is an example, this is an example in, in, in this case, you, uh, we are using the, this strategy of mapping and after I use another uh, strategy, okay? And all other guys using the, the, the more simple scheme to mapping, uh, like one about encoder, that uh, this one, okay? You transform your sequence in the binary matrix, okay? It's a very, very common that people use it uh, in uh, categorical inputs in deep learning, one hot encoding, and you can use uh, here because you have a categorical input, yeah? Because the DNA se sequence have just uh, four, four, four words, four letters, okay? H, A, C, G, or T, yeah? So, uh, Deep learning and genomics, it's a hot to topic today, yeah. Uh, there are uh, many, many papers that people have, have been talking up, 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 up about the, how the deep learning can help the, the, the genomic analysis, okay? Because uh, to, today people are uh, still using uh, alignment algorithms, okay? Uh, still using BLAST, for example, but deep learning can can um, can change this situation, yeah, because uh, you can get more more analysis, more uh, more accuracy analysis and classifications and similarity approach, yeah. This, this paper is, is very, very new one, yes, it's, it, it's from uh, 2019, yeah, another paper from 2019, yeah, that talking about the, the deep learning uh, in genomics, yeah, and another, and another one. So it's important talk, yeah, it's very, very new, uh, new one, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna talk about viral uh, classification. What this idea, uh, this idea okay? Uh, basically, you have the, the viral sequence, yeah? The, the, the virus DNA or RNA sequence, yeah? 
and uh, you need to classify the virus. You, you, you need to understand which which type of the virus you have present. present. And you can use the, the bioinformatic uh, conventional tools like uh, alignment, yeah, uh, like a blast, smith waterman algorithm, and the other one. Or you can use artificial intelligence with deep learning. Yeah. Why uh, viral uh, classification uh, is important? Yeah. Uh, uh, there are many, many applications. Yeah. For example, uh, uh, if you, uh, in the HIV virus, for example, you, you have several types of, of the HIV virus. And depending of, of the type of the HIV virus, you, you need the specific drug or, 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 or specific drugs, okay? So if you uh, in that, uh, make identification, and, and if you make a very good identification, very accurate identification of the virus, you can use the the uh, the the the, uh, the poverty drugs to uh, to uh, find this virus. Okay. Uh, this is a just a, a, a specific application, okay? For example, now uh, we have several SARS-CoV-2 variants. So it's important that you identify which, which kind of virus uh, people have and, and uh, you can use bio, bioinformatics uh, conventional tools or you can use um, uh, deep learning, okay? So uh, when you, you, you use deep learning in bioinformatics, uh, you can use in, in after primary analysis, okay? That we have the reads. Reads uh, are the, the, the piece of the, of the whole DNA set, yeah? Because I don't, I don't know if you, if you remember that I said that after the primary, the primary analysis, you have the piece of the of DNA, okay? And this piece called the reads, okay? After that, you have the secondary analysis. In the secondary analysis, we, we will have the sequence and the, and, 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 and the assembly, okay? That we will create the whole sequence, yeah? But uh, you, you, you can use reads, with deep learning, you, uh, you can use after sequence that people call it the complete, and uh, you can use the whole sequence. Yeah, uh, the most uh, the most works in the literature have been used the whole sequence with deep learning. Okay, but there there are some some works some papers that people have been used reads and and complete with uh, deep learning. Okay, but deep learning it's a it, it, it's a, it's a, uh, that I I I I, I talk it. It's an alignment free approach. Okay, it's alignment free free approach. That it's a if is this alignment free approach? You have the mapping processing, and you have the the mapping stage, and after you have the processing stage that you you uh, we will use the the deep learning, okay, or deep neural network, okay. So uh, let me show you that I, example that we have the sequence, okay, the, the part of, of of the DNA sequence from some virus. And for example, in this case, I I I making a, a mapping, a simple mapping, and call it the one volt encoding. Yeah, it's a very simple mapping. And after I I use a deep neural network to, to classify the virus. Yeah, for example, in this case, we can uh, classify the HIV. For example, uh, you have two two types of HIV, and each type we have. Uh, several subtypes, yeah. For example, uh, HIV one 
one, we have uh, uh, two, 12 subtypes. And HIV-2, we have 30, 37 subtypes. And if you make a very accurate classification, it's important because uh, you can choose the specific drugs to specific values. Yeah, it's important to uh, understand the, 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 the advantage that, it, that you use deep learning, okay? Deep learning, uh, we uh, will be able to make more accuracy strategy than a uh, traditional strategy that for the, the alignment uh, strategy, okay? This is a, uh, the same example, okay? This is a, uh, uh, some papers that I got uh, about the virus uh, classification. Yeah, that that I I, I said be, be, be before. It's a very new new one topic. Yeah, it's a it's a hot topic. Yeah, and I, uh, you can see that all papers uh, are from uh, nineteen and, and twenty. Yeah, here uh, you can see the kind of, of deep learning you use it. And here uh, you can see that there are uh, three papers that uh, work with COVID-19 uh, and here are some, some applications that people have been using uh, virus classification or virus uh, uh, prediction, yeah? Okay. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the mapping, okay? Because that I said, that I said, uh, uh, deep learning, it's alignment-free strategy, and, and all alignment-free strategies use the mapping and after the processing step. And the process step is a deep learning, yeah? One uh, strategy, uh, it's very uh, common strategy is K-MERS, yeah? That, that I said before, yeah? Uh, for example, here, uh, we have a stream, a K-MERS stream, and if K uh, equal two, you have CT, TT, TC, and uh, we we have K equal six, seven. Yeah, it's a K mares uh, strategy. Yeah, other strategy is just uh, you uh, use the DNA numerical representation. It's it, it's it's possible. Yeah, for example, here uh, we have several strategies, several numerical representations uh, to DNA or RNA sequence, yeah. Uh, you can see that it's a very new one, uh, paper too, yeah. Uh, it, yeah. Because this paper that authors are, uh, are using the machine learning, yeah. So if, if they are using machine learning, they need to uh, make a mapping, yeah, okay. This is another uh, other uh, strategy to uh, to mapping, yeah, to mapping each each uh, each base, okay. This is a paper that that, that I I got, okay. And this is another uh, interesting uh, mapping strategy, okay. Uh, people call it the game, the cause game representation. It's important because this strategy it's a kind of the 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 Oh, what? Sorry, but I put here the. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, the genomic signal process. Okay, it's a it's a very new new one field. Yeah, people call it the genomic uh, signal process. Yeah, in CGR, it's a it's a genomic signal process. Yeah, you, you use a. Uh, 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 People call it the, the cause game representation. Yeah? And uh, you use the, the this function to, to, to gen generate a, a bidimensional signal from the DNA sequence. Yeah? And, uh, here I explained the, the, the algorithm, yeah. And, uh, and, and it's a recursive function, yeah. And the uh, for, for example, imagine that we have this sequence C, T, T, C, 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 A, yeah? 
And the first, first condition uh, is this value, yeah, is, is, is the C. And the next, next letter is, is T. And uh, you use the, 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 the before information and create a new, uh, a new information, and, uh, this one, and you making a mapping uh, using the sequence, yeah? But each letter in the sequence will you transform it in the, in the bidimensional signal, yeah? In the bidimensional signal. Here, uh, you can see a, a cause doing representation from, from SARS-CoV-2 uh, from China, Wuhan, yeah? And another, uh, and another uh, family virus, yeah? You can see the difference, yeah? And each each corn of, 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 of the of the frame, yeah, represents the, the frequency of, of the of the base, yeah. And you can see, for example, in the SARS-CoV-2, you have uh, you have a high frequency of the, the base T, for example. And uh, in in this this other family, you have a high frequency of the base CG, for example, yeah. And SARS-CoV-2, no, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's important because this mapping uh, can, can uh, we will use it uh, 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 by deep learning algorithm, okay? So uh, this is a, a expression that uh, you can use cause game uh, representation. Ah, okay, sorry. Uh, in this case, I I I I am using K K mirrors together with Gauss game representation, yeah. Because I can do, do that. I can mix the the mapping strategy, yeah. I can create a mapping pipeline, okay. A, a several mappings in, in cascade, yeah. So uh, in this case, uh, we have we have uh, uh, K mirrors and CGR Gauss game representation and the key is equal seven yeah equal seven other uh, uh, strategies that people have been using to map it, it's FFT yes uh, uh, fast Fourier transformation yeah uh, some some people uh, use cause game representation and after make uh, Making a, a FFP, I, uh, it's this case for, for for example, yeah. In this case, I got this this cause game representation, and I I did a, a, a frequency transformation from these these uh, these points, okay. And um, and uh, I have here the frequency representation for each virus, yeah. And you can see the, the, the difference, okay? And the, uh, this case, it's very interesting case. It's, uh, I got uh, from these papers, okay? Uh, when uh, the authors used several uh, strategies, several uh, techniques in cascade, they used k mirrors after they, after cause game representation, after fast uh, Fourier. Transforming and after PCC, PCC it's a Poisson, uh, Pearson, co uh, sorry, Pearson correlation uh, coefficient. Okay. Uh, to the idea of, of, of the mapping, it's uh, it's create a, a fingerprint from the device. Okay, you can create a fingerprint from from the uh, device. Okay. So uh, this is another uh, approach to to, to mapping uh, that uh, we can uh, we can calculate the k mirrors and after that we uh, we calculated the frequency of of the of the k mirrors uh, of occurrence. Okay, you you calculate the distribution of the k mirrors and after that you can create an image of uh, from the virus, yeah. And here, for example, we have several images when each image represents the virus, yeah. It's another way to, to, 
to map, yeah, it's uh, interesting, yeah, and if, if we, you create a fingerprint from uh, to the virus, and uh, here in, in the other other map uh, strategy that that I already said, okay. Uh, okay, uh, this one too, yeah, and all all the strategies, okay. Uh, for, for, for example, this strategy is very simple when the the authors use the the integer number to, to represent uh, each each base, yeah. For example, a it's it's uh, sixty five, c it's sixty seven, yeah. Oh, okay. In the other case, for, for example, the, the output transformed uh, in, the, uh, in the number, in the real number, A is it's one, yeah, P is 0.5, G is 0.75, and, uh, and N is, is, uh, is zero in these seconds, okay? Zero, okay. So, now I mean I I'm I'm, uh, I'm showing several works that I have been make, uh, making uh, using viral uh, classification several strategies okay in the uh, in the part okay uh, in this work one that I call it work one it's a simple strategy that uh, we uh, we we have uh, making to, to classify. SARS-CoV-2 virus from other uh, beta coronavirus, okay, or coronavirus, yeah. Uh, we have here, uh, uh, we have here, uh, sorry, it's point, uh, it's, uh, it's coma here, yeah. We, uh, we have uh, 17,000 of, of the SARS-CoV-2 sequence and we have other uh, viral seconds, okay, not SARS-CoV-2, yeah, and this deep learning uh, will be classified in SARS-CoV-2 or not SARS-CoV-2, okay, this is idea, yeah, and, uh, but of course, we, 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 we have more, more SARS-CoV-2 seconds than other virus seconds, so uh, we, we, we uh, need it to make a, a, a balance strategy, yeah. And the other, other balance strategy that we use it is about the count from the SARS-CoV-2. You, uh, you can see that uh, USA have many, many seconds than other countries, okay? So uh, we made a, a balance strategy that we, we, we got the same quantity of the, vi of the virus uh, uh, per country, okay? Why this is important? Because uh, uh, that there are some specific mutations uh, in these specific countries, okay? So it's important you 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 have you got the the virus from all the countries, okay? So uh, this is some 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 results that uh, we got, okay? Uh, in this case, uh, is the, the the validation uh, using our strategy. Remember, uh, it's a it's a binary classification, so the uh, the deep learning classify if it's a SARS-CoV-2 or not SARS-CoV-2. Yeah, and uh, and uh, you can see that that have a best best classification, a very good classification. And he, uh, he, here uh, we we tested uh, with with the uh, the remind sets, yeah, Be because uh, we had about we had about uh, seven thousand SARS-CoV-2 sequences, yeah, but we just use it to train uh, fifty hundred, okay, we just use fifty hundred to train. We, because uh, we need to to uh, to make a balance of the class, yeah. And after we we use the remind seconds to test, and uh, you can see that we have many many uh, correct uh, classifications, yeah. 
here uh, it's a it, it's a confusion confusion methods from the the mutation the artificial mutation we insert artificial mutation in the virus uh, in the uh, input sequence and uh, you can uh, you can uh, see that uh, deep learning uh, uh, can cl uh, classify the virus okay again classify classify if it's SARS-CoV-2 or not SARS-CoV-2 okay so the, uh, the, this is a second work that we have been uh, we have uh, we have been making um, making okay uh, in this case we are using the image representation for each virus and we are using a deep deep learning but in, uh, in this case we are using the space stack autoencoder okay. Uh, with, with uh, I don't know, four layers, I think so, yeah, and we are using the image to virus uh, representation, yeah, uh, in this case, we are classifying the, the, the all families, okay, of, of, of the virus, in this case, we are, don't use the SARS-CoV-2, yeah, all virus here, of, of course, SARS-CoV-2, it's a hypovirus, okay, is near hell, okay? And uh, here it is on other sequences, okay? So we are uh, we train, and this this uh, left side here is a uh, it's a uh, validation of the uh, conclusion methods uh, from the validation, yeah, for each each family, yeah, and. In the left side, okay, I'm 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 showing the the confusion matrix uh, uh, using uh, one thousand fifty uh, fifty hundred uh, sars cov cov two sequences, okay, and uh, and one hundred percent of 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 the product, uh, okay. It's important to understand. Because uh, we uh, we don't use SARS-CoV-2 to, to train the digital, yeah. We we don't use uh, okay the SARS-CoV-2 to, to, to train. We just use the SARS-CoV-2 seconds to make a test. Yeah, it's uh, uh, interesting. It shows the powerful strategy that we use deep learning and the. They may in, in, in the image to, to, to virus representation. In this case, we are classifying the the, the families of the uh, inside the the the, the hypoviria realm. Yeah. So uh, it's important to understand that um, that uh, SARS-CoV-2 is a it's a coronavirus. Yeah. The, this this confusion matrix show the validation. Using the, this virus, yeah. In this case, we don't use SARS CoV 2 sequences. And here, uh, the confusion metrics using the SARS CoV, just SARS CoV 2 sequences. And, and uh, we had 100% of, 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 of the, the forward classification, yeah, because uh, SARS CoV 2 is a corona, corona virus. Okay? And the, the other experiment, uh, we use a, a subclassification of the SARS-CoV-2. SARS-CoV-2 is a beta coronavirus, okay? Here is uh, uh, the same one, okay? The validation using, using all virus without SARS-CoV-2. And here, the, the test using SARS-CoV-2. And here, uh, we don't have 100 we uh, 100 percent of of, of of the virus uh, correct classification because uh, when you, you goes to the sub sub classification the virus uh, will be more more simil similar yeah and it is more uh, is more uh, it's more heavy is more difficult to learn make a classification yeah this work three is the is the same work two but using the CNN, 
the convolutional neural network, okay? They they work to we use it the sparse stack stack sparse stack out encoding, okay? In this case, uh, here some results with the 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 helm with other helms, okay? Classification, yeah. And this this is a confusion matrix. Uh, uh, from the validation, yeah. In this case, we don't use the same situation. We don't use the SARS CoV 2 in the training and validation. And after we test with just SARS CoV 2 seconds, and uh, we have 100% of the correct classification, yeah. Uh, in this case, it's, uh, it's the families, okay. It's important uh, you see that. It, the CNN is uh, the, uh, had the, the good performance than the autoencoder. Okay, we we, we uh, achieve more more classes. Of, okay, more classes. Yeah, using uh, CNN. Yeah. This is uh, results. Uh, okay, it just validation here. And again, we uh, we don't use the SARS CoV 2 seconds to, to, to make the, the training validation, but after that, we use the SARS CoV 2, 2 test. Okay. And finally, yeah, finally, um, it's a work, work for, okay, the work for, uh, it's, a, it's a strategy that uh, we can use. A variant classification and clustering using deep learning. Yeah, in this case, uh, is another way that uh, we can work using one embedded deep learning model, and we can use this this strategy to fully connected uh, model, uh, associate a fully connected model to variant classification. So we, uh, you can classify the variants, the the SARS CoV two variants. Or uh, you can make a, a, a variant clus clustering, and uh, you can use a uh, unsupervised model here after the that would embedded. Okay. This, uh, this table here it's uh, it's uh, information of the all uh, mutations. Okay, from this the variants. For example, in this, this this case here, you can see. Several uh, several mutations for each variant. Okay, uh, the strategy here it's it's see this information with the the document. Okay, the the uh, the the document with the words. Okay, and we can use word embedded where uh, you uh, we can transform this information in. Uh, in a, uh, in a vector, but he, he using the, uh, the word uh, filters, okay? So uh, this is an example that, that uh, we, we use it, yeah? Uh, here, uh, we, we got several variants, okay? Uh, uh, variant Yota, Epsilon, Gamma, Delta, Beta, and Alpha, né? Okay, uh, variant delta. It's a famous variant. Yeah, it's a, it's a, a little uh, research today talking about the, the, the delta variant because the delta variant it's more um, it's it's more transmissible. Okay, so uh, this is a, a a cloud of of the of the woods because now I'm I, I'm seeing the mutation with with the, the several woods in the in the document yeah and you can see all all mutations yeah for example uh, I don't I don't know if you remember about this this mutation it's a famous mutations in the, the spike protein is uh, that uh, you you uh, translate the um, the amino acid B to amino acid G okay. And here and it's a classification of the it's a confusion matrix of the variant classification yeah and we have a very good performance yeah using a word embedded yeah very very good performance uh, to, to, to write variant classification 
in here it's a it's a clustering okay that uh, we we uh, we making okay it's uh you can see each color here uh you can see the variance okay and the green the the green here it's that delta delta variance okay it's uh it's uh that that research that said that about the this variance is more transmissible okay it's a complicated variant okay? and it's it's interesting uh that clustering because uh we can make some some analysis okay for for example uh why uh these these uh these samples of the delta variants are here and this one are here and this one are here yeah because if if you are, are seeing the same variant uh, uh it's uh, it's uh, it's common you see all points together yeah but you can see that that the same variant the points are spreading yeah are spreading yeah so i i i i mark these points and i i got some analysis for example the the age of the of the of the of the people from these sequences yeah in this uh, we today we have the sequence and we have the the met the the metadata from the sequence for example we have the the, the age of the the people from these sequence yeah and uh it's interesting for example you can see that all here are delta variants okay but uh, these these uh, these delta variant here, yeah, it's uh, uh, yeah, it's it's associated uh, with people with this age, yeah, twenty five between twenty five and forty five, yeah. But this one, this one. This, this guy here, yeah, this delta variant, the age of, of, of people has a, a more, more a large range, yeah, between 17 and, uh, and, uh, and 56 age, yeah, and the other, the other one, it's here, yeah, it's here. So it's interesting. Now it's interesting. Uh, you figure out, figure out or discover why these these sequences, these virus sequences, that it's from the same variant, but uh, affect people with the the different ages. For, for example, that sequence and the, these these sequences, yeah, uh, don't. Um, don't have uh, uh, people with with uh, uh, young people, young people, with young people. Yeah, it's uh, these these viral sectors are are more in young people. Why? Yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. Uh, figure out. Okay, so uh, you can see that this kind of analysis, uh, you can discover uh, more information about the virus. Yeah. Just not uh, classification. Okay. So thank you uh, so much for watching uh, this presentation. Yeah. This is uh, my team that helped me to, to, to do all the, the, the results. Okay. They, they, they are uh, PhD, uh, PhD students. Okay. From the lab. And that's that's okay. Okay. Thank you so much.